Hello curls, it's Yolanda Renee and today we are going to be talking about, if I can even lift this, oh my god. I have all of my staple products in this huge box. <laughs> um, as you guys know, as a natural hair YouTuber, vlogger, blogger, whatever you want to call it, I review and do demos with so many products and you know what I almost get well no I do I get annoyed when people ask um, a question with a little shade thrown with it I get asked all the time especially on Instagram if I post a picture of like a product I'm about to try out they always ask me oh my god what product don't you use you know and it's definitely shade because it's like they're basically saying I use too many products or I shout out too many brands or whatever basically as a blogger or vlogger for natural hair you have to stay up with the latest trends if I came on here and only worked with my staples every single time and did no product review reviews or anything people would have something to say about that you know what I mean so you know never think that I am like doing pointless reviews and demos or trying too many different brands or products whatever like I'm doing that because I want to give you guys you know you know up-to-date information on products or brands whatever I hope you guys understand that especially if I was not a vlogger or youtuber these are the products that I would like totally you know use you know all the time for shampoo and conditioning like when I really need a shampoo and a conditioner my favorite used to be Jason's um, biotin shampoo and conditioner and I still use that sometimes um, but since doing my review on Carol's daughter hair on um, Lisa's hair elixir these two products are my go-to and I actually have more the shampoo left than the conditioner um, of course that's how we are as naturals but yes this is my go-to product when I really need to wash my hair get all of that product build up off of my hair and scalp the this is a clarifying shampoo it's sulfate free so this really helps get your hair like super um, clean um, and of course it clarifies it um, this is awesome for your scalp as I said in my review of this it really gives your scalp like a tingling sensation um, because of all the products that are in here especially all the oils that help stimulate blood flow to your scalp and everything so yeah this is definitely a staple of mine and this is actually my second container of both of these um, so yeah love Carol's starter um, so if it's just a you know a simple shampoo and conditioning where I don't really need a clarifying shampoo then I go for um, Giovanni's I and you know what you guys look how big these are this is 33.8 fluid ounces of both of these products and um, these are from Marshall's I got these both from Marshall's for $12.99 they were um, $12.99 so every once in a while I will find these huge jars or just Giovanni's in general at Target I mean well you can find the smaller version and I do have a small oh yeah I have it right here here's a smaller version that you can get from Target and this one is only 8.5 fluid ounces which that's good too but if you go to your local um, Marshalls or maybe Ross um, TJ Maxx and there's another one that's similar to these companies um, but anyway so you you may get lucky and get these huge containers with this pump on it right here oh my god so helpful um, so yeah that's what I use a lot for my you know normal shampoo and conditioner where I don't really need to like clarify my hair um, um, so yes, those are my two 
favorite staples for washing my hair. Whenever I use a shampoo, especially a clarifying shampoo, I like to do a deep conditioning. Um, and right now, my favorite deep conditioning treatment is actually from Eden Body Works. And this one isn't the exact one that I use. I like using the one from the Coconut Shea line, but I don't have any more. So I just would, I wanted to show you this one, which is the um, Jojoba, um, from the Jojoba collection. Um, so yeah, this is awesome. Um, but I do like the Coconut Shea one better. I like the smell of the Coconut Shea one better. But this one's not bad either. <sighs> But yes, Eden Body Works um, Deep Conditioning Treatment. So next, leave-in. Oh my gosh, I have so many favorite leave-ins, but if I had to pick one for my staple leave-in, definitely ugh, As I Am a Leave-In. This leave-in conditioner is amazing. A little goes a long way, and your hair really feels so... It's like butter. Like, it is just... it's makes detangling a breeze and you definitely your you can definitely tell your hair is benefiting from this product so yes this is the as i am leave-in conditioner um so now for my lock method of course that's the le liquid leave-in which is the as i am for my oil staple products always have used this since the beginning this is my virgin coconut oil and it's actually from spectrum's brand you can get this from walmart in the cooking um section where all the oils are um so yeah and for my cream I'm pretty sure you guys can guess what that is. <laughs> um, for my cream or styler, this is Antoine Couture's Cream Jelly Styler. This is amazing. I feel like this product helps with hydration, um, but sometimes I do um, use their other product, which, which is the um, hydrator, buttercream hydrator. I mix these two together sometimes just for added moisture and hold. This gives me hold, shine. It, I think it helps with, you know, making my twist outs more, you know, less without i mean it like stretches it up kind of well it just eliminates shrinkage i don't know how to word it but basically i feel like my twist outs are bigger and longer whatever you want to call it so yeah this is definitely a staple i use this all the time like all the time um what else um oh for oils for my scalp. I use coconut oil on my hair. Um, not a lot, but I do use that on my hair. But for my scalp, I always go for my Alakay Natural Essential 17 Growth Oil. Um, this stuff is amazing. Just like my um, Lisa's Hair Elixir, this oil gives my scalp a tingling sensation and I love it. I always feel like when that tingling happens, that's like stimulating my scalp, it's stimulating hair growth to me so yeah I love that oil if I need to co-wash my hair I go for my Shea Moisture's um, co-wash co conditioning cleanser and um, you know I used to think that washing your hair with any conditioner is considered a co-wash co but it really isn't like you really need a co-wash conditioning cleanser in your regimen because it's definitely different than just you know using a conditioner so if you don't have a co-washing cleanser definitely try out Shea Moisture's and you can get this from Target um also this is um what I use for my hair when my hair needs to basically be refreshed but it doesn't really need a lot of products this is the all natural hair balm from Coconut Shea and I use more of this on the very ends of my hair before retwisting and doing my hanging bantu knot um, technique. And this really, to me, adds moisture and shine. Um, and it's just, there's no residue or anything. I love this stuff. It says it restores and moisturizes hair. There's coconut oil and shea butter. 
um, less breakage. It has your hair feeling soft and smooth. Um, and you can use this on, it says use on dry hair. And you can reapply as needed. So yeah, that's pretty much what I do. And this works wonders. Um, my other staple, which is not really a product, but it's my um, detangling brush. And also my hair pick. These are staples in my regimen. I use this to detangle my hair once I have product in my hair to help really smooth the hair. And I feel like it also helps me make sure that the product is evenly distributed on my hair. A lot of people, especially at my event, there was this woman who asked me, you know, what can I do about, you know, eliminating frizz and all that. And of course, there's trial and error because everybody's hair is different. But some tips that I wanted to give her and I did give her um, is you know product placement is so important because you know like I said in all my videos putting the product on the you know the shell of your hair or whatever like just on the outside is not helping inside if you're taking a huge section and you're only putting products on the outside and it's not getting on all the other strands your hair is going to look a mess and it will be frizzy uh, product placement on all of your strands is very important and using the right amount of products and also using some type of tool or your fingers will also help with that process and of course my hair pick because i love picking my hair for some volume you know um so yeah i can't i just can't style my hair without a hair pick like yeah this i need that um so also eco styler gel this is a staple of mine um if i'm rocking a puff i like to use this on my edges um the only thing is when you use eco styler gel on your edges you have to put a scarf on because this is a more liquidy gel so it can you know basically make your hair curl up or revert and sometimes you don't want that so putting a scarf on when you using this um, helps out a lot um, I also use this if I do washing goes which I don't do often but I do like using this on washing goes and I'll shingle this through my hair to make the curls really pop um, and also like today um, this is a twist out on dry hair and I just use a little bit of eco styler gel on the very ends of my hair and then I twist it did a two strand twist and did a hanging bantu knot at the the end so that gel really helped with you know the definition at the end of my hair so at the ends of my hair um so for my puffs um if i don't have time to like really put a scarf on um the gel that i go to is my curls passion fruit control paste and this is like magic in a little jar this is the passion fruit one and i use this on my hair tailor and skies and it works for all of us i love it um and i do have a review coming up soon this is their new um blueberry bliss curl control paste which is very similar um to the passion fruit one um but there is um a different formula um, there's definitely a different smell because there's blueberry extract in here, I think. Yeah, blueberry extract, argan oil, um, and it says it's proven to encourage hair growth. That's pretty exciting. But yeah, anyway, I'll have a review on the blueberry one. It's actually available right now on their website, curls.biz. It's not in Target yet, but it will be available in Target in August. I think like August 30th or something. Um, so yeah, these control paste products are amazing for your edges. It's like super like thick and it controls like if you put it on your edges like oh my god you'll think you have baby hairs like oh my gosh <laughs> um but anyway so that's a lot of products right but as a natural that's what we do right oh let's show it to you guys again these are my favorite products <laughs> um so yeah um so oh that was the cream jelly styler um, but anyway, if you guys want to tell me what your staple products are, please leave that in the um, comment section below. I would love to know what products you always reach for. Like, of course, we have 
so many products in our you know closets or shelves or whatever um but there are some that you really just can't live without and these are the ones that i can't live without um so yeah if you ever get confused by my many product reviews and styling tutorials with different products um just come back to this video and you'll see the products that i always use if i wasn't a vlogger these are the products I would stick with and I hope this helps you out and let me know if you have any questions and I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye. Yes.